Grunt PC Ninja versus Spins and Shoryu two two Westchester Vikings. Long time, long time community members here. Long time community members here. On Shoryu, of course, in Smash Four, a former Yoshi player in his own right. So likely has some some sort of knowledge in this matchup that maybe someone that didn't play Yoshi would have. Uh, So Yoshi versus Kazuya is a matchup where Kazuya as a character really struggles in this match. Uh, Yoshi as a character really thrives in the state. So obviously if Yoshi gets his hits, it's really, really beneficial for Yoshi. But a big issue in this matchup is that some of Kazuya's most potent gameplay and game plan is just anti-airing you, right? Because he has electric and dodge and everyone will catch you out of the air for doing anything. Yoshi the character that loves to jump, so overall the interactions don't necessarily favor Yoshi in the neutral drives and even though Yoshi has a frame one double jump escape, Kazu can still do some massive damage with his combos. As we see here, PC already at at zero percent. The game is over. And that game is Um. But uh. Stop battle. But uh, we're gonna have a game two here between Honshar and PC. All right. So game two, we're gonna run it back to PS2. Uh, solid stage choice. I think PS2 is a very strong stage for Yoshi in general. Um, who do you have to be here? Ooh, big opening already. He's getting a lot of mileage so far out of these years of cycle, for sure. It's, it's doing it's doing him wonders against a character that's relatively stationary. Kazuya, I mean, Kazuya's not very stationary because of uh, his crouch dash. And really, like, you would think a character like Kazuya has pretty poor mobility options, but the crouch dash kind of changes everything. Though. That character can move with the best of them. Big grab off the neutral get up. Big call out there. You see consistently going off stage to get the good hit. Um, Kazuya, which is, is probably it's a solid idea for some characters, but I feel like Yoshi, who's snare, is deceptively small. Can't really interact well with Kazuya's upbeat a lot of the time, because that move will just beat out your nair entirely. Uh, however, PC does have a lead. His first lead of the set so far. We'll see how far he can take this. Looking pretty far, so looking pretty good so far. I'm sure kind of messing up the drift there on his electric and god fist, but does get the uh, up B that he was likely looking for on the first god fist before. Uh, before. So we, we have a even game stock out here. Ooh, a conversion from PC Dungeon. Whole stock lead here. There we go. I really like these drafts from PC, they're, they're, they're working a lot. 
old big landing up there. Next? What the hell? Detroit sure already at 95%. That, that's the Yoshi power. Like, not even just the true combos, but he's so fast and versatile as a character. He can, he can mix. Big up smash. That's gonna be it. A two stock in response from PC Ninja. Game three, I heard FD Carlson on Imagine Town and City as advanced from PC. Go. Small Battlefield is going to be the counter pick. I really don't understand Kazi and his stage choices, so I I couldn't tell you what what the oh, wait, man. I couldn't tell you what the option is here as a, as a Kazi player, or honestly as a Yoshi player. I really don't know much about this matchup outside of from there. I don't. I really can only talk about the matchup from the outside looking in. Um, but regardless. He's cooking right now. He's kind of keeping up the momentum he had in game one. Ooh. A little bit of a flub, of, of a flub there on that. F smash off the jab block, but PC does run it back down tilt into a down smash and gets a kill on what I can only assume to be poor EI from Unshorn. The Yoshi down smash isn't, isn't that strong, regardless. And PC is getting mileage off of these early percent back. Great combo option for Yoshi, especially if you, if you can turn that last hit, you can get like a landing, like a, a rising air. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to miss the ledge snap there. PC still has a lead though, so. Fame is still kind of in his hand. Unsure, keeping it up though, this this is a game for set. This is totally a game for set. Again? And this time, PC does not mess up the SMAP on the back end. So we have Unsure on his last stock. Last stock to set here. Kazi's a character though, once he- Ooh! Big damage. 68% still. And we still have- As long as Unshorn can remain under the three drive percent, which is percent and have it for the last stock, or for the last game, sorry, for PC last stock, he's likely going to be in a very good spot. Ooh! And the game is right back even. Landing up there. Triple up there, 91% already. Still no rage drive though, so never mind. That was that was literally the perfect percent for rage drive, like the perfect there for PC. And so I'm just gonna burn it early on, guarantee the damage. As he, there, like the rage drive does go away if you don't hit it enough, or if you don't hit it early enough. So I like the decision there. Guys, but she's still in a super danger percent, especially 77. Now now we're in danger mode for both characters here. This is this is a super duper close set right now. Oh my god. They're they're throwing out haymakers right now. But honestly, I'm trying to throw out more haymakers than than you see it right now. That is that it? That's crazy. Wow. That moves strong. Wins. I'm sure I'm gonna take it 2-1. Good stuff there to Unshorn. I'm not sure the name of that move, but it's kind of like a two-piece, like the, the spinning, crouching kick into a, an upwards punch of some sort. <laughs> the Hell Sweep? That's the Hell Sweep right there. Hell Sweep gonna take it.